Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to install the NMKD Stable Diffusion GUI. Now Stable Diffusion is a uh, program to uh, generate uh, images using AI and the M NMKD GUI is a GUI for it that includes uh, Stable Diffusion in it, and it makes it a lot easier to install Stable Diffusion. There are a couple of different GUIs available for Stable Diffusion, along with the uh, regular. There's a regular distribution of Stable Diffusion, which is a little bit more complicated to install. But uh, this particular GUI uh, makes it really easy to install Stable Diffusion and use it. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and. Uh, how to do a couple of command prompts on it, just basic ones. And uh, I'll do other um, videos about stable diffusion in the future. So to start out with, you're going to go to this uh, website right here, uh, nmkd.itch.io slash t t2i dash GUI and that's where you can download the GUI and so this is what the GUI looks like and uh, if we go here uh, you can donate to the guy who creates this distribution because you spent some time on it uh, I'm just going to bypass that uh, right now just to show you uh, what to download uh, I always download the stable diffusion uh, GUI um, uh, that uh, has uh, the uh, that includes the model file and uh, uh, so here we are this is GUI version 1.6 uh, and so you just click on that and download it and uh, what will happen is you will uh, you'll end up with a file uh, th that that looks like this it has a folder inside of it it's it's zipped. You need to download uh, 7-zip to uh, decompress it. And uh, there will be a folder in here. In this case, it, it has the version of the GUI 1.6 at the end of it. So you just decompress this folder with everything in it and save it to some place on your uh, hard drive. And what I like to do is I like to put it under a folder I created called Stable Diffusion, and I actually keep the previous versions. At least right now, that's what I'm doing, uh, because these have different versions of Stable Diffusion in them as well. As he updates the GUI, he updates to the latest version of Stable Diffusion. Uh, so I can go back if I wanted to experiment with previous uh, versions. I don't know how long I'm going to do this because I haven't really gone back to any of these versions. But if you if you want to have kind of a record of the different versions and go back to see the differences any or if there are any between them you can go ahead and do that uh, so this is the folder right here I'm going to open this and, and you'll see this is all that's in it the data we've got the data folder here uh, we've also the first time we run it it's going to create a folder called the image folder inside of this folder automatically so we're going to go in here and we're going to just run stable diffusion GUI and the first time it should it should set stuff up uh, so uh, I'm going to click OK here on this box and um, we want to look here real quick uh, under settings and you'll see here that it's actually saved it by default in an images folder underneath uh, underneath the main folder so if we uh, actually go back to here I think we can refresh this I guess we have to run it once and it will create the folder so let's go back to stable diffusion uh, and we'll go over some of these other uh, setup things these options in here before but we're just going to do a default right here uh, right now it's doing a 512 by 512 uh, um, square resolution so let's just type a command in 
here and we're going to just uh, type what basically what we want a picture of and uh, let's uh, put a snowy landscape uh, with trees on fire let's see what happens with that you don't need a period there so we're going to hit um, generate on this And it's going to download uh, the model and everything first, which takes a little bit, and then it will uh, it will uh, generate the um, it it will uh, generate the image. Now the nice thing also about keeping previous versions is when you install a new version, you can actually go back and see what your settings up here were uh, or are and. Uh, I'll go over that in a different um, video, but you can change you can change the height and width to change the aspect ratio on this. You have to kind of experiment around with uh, how um, how much your uh, video card can handle and such, and uh, it just takes a, a few minutes for this to generate an image. Alright, so the nice thing about this GUI is it actually shows you a preview of the picture here after it's uh, generated. And if we go back here again and we go to uh, more options and refresh, you see it's created the images directory here. And uh, right here is the image itself. And so now we can open that up. And there it is in, in 512 by 512 uh, format right here. So that's basically how you install uh, the uh, NMKD Stable Diffusion GUI and uh, how you uh, run a basic command on it. Uh, like I said, I'll make another video in the future that goes more over some of these other uh, aspects of this program. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.